I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas proud, I ain't in it, guy. gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, Shorty off a fan star Just the one I'm ready to surprise Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're in Kokoa, I'm in Kokoa. And today guys, I want to talk to you about perfume refill business How to start the business, where to get the, you know, the stock and everything that you need In order to start this kind of business um, So, if you're interested like the video by the before you watch like the video so that it can be recommended to other people subscribe if you're new and yes leave a comment down below if you have in case you have any other questions apart from um the information that i'm going to give you yeah so and it's going to be noisy clearly and i'm even doing this video on a sunday i'm at the shop on a sunday yeah, so it's going to be a little bit noisy, so just ignore that, but I'm using a microphone as you can see, so I know I'm going to be audible enough. Yeah, so how do you start this kind of business? In order to start this kind of business, you will need a few things. The first thing is a bottle just like this one, this is a display bottle, and you will buy this uh, display bottle and the perfume, as you can see, it has something inside. So you will need the perfume, the refill perfumes. You will need a label. Mine, I'm using um, a um, what does it call? The cell tape, the white cell tape. But a label is better, and a marking pen that you will use to mark your, you know, mark your product. And then you will need a needle, and a tip that I'm going to add for you guys. Uh, when you get your needle. Make sure that you put cell tape around it, clear cell tape, so that it doesn't uh, rub off these numbers because you're going to be measuring uh, the perfume with these numbers. Yes, so make sure you wrap it with a cell tape because I had another one and all these numbers have come out. You can't see anything because I didn't use the cell tape. Yes, and um, the last, last thing that, okay, not last, you will also need uh, some bottles. The refill uh, perfumes, the perfume bottles, the ones that you will be putting in the perfume. There are, there are different categories, you can see this one is a bit smaller than this one and there is also the smallest one, the 3ml one. Yes, and there are other classy bottles but I don't have those for now. Yes, and you will also need somewhere maybe to be displaying your, to be displaying your perfumes. Uh, me, I usually use my display. I'm going to show you that. Yes, so that's everything that you will need. Yes, so how do you get these perfumes? I'm like, how much do you get the perfumes at? The perfumes wholesale prices are um, wholesale is 50 ml, minimum of 50 ml, and that will, you will get from 10 bob per ml. And you come to the shop and sell at 3 ml at 100 bob and you have gotten that one uh, 10 bob per ml so that's you know you buy at 30 bob it's like you're buying from uh, at that bob and selling at 100 bob so that's 70 per, uh, 70 bob profit i don't know if that's 70 percent what will have some if that's 70 percent you're buying the perfume at 30 bob and selling it at 100 bob you get yeah the smallest perfume uh, the smallest amount you can measure is 3 ml and that 3 ml you sell it at 100 bob if you want to do 50 bob you're going to have to do 1.5 ml and a needle doesn't have um a needle doesn't have 1.5 so you're just going to have to estimate and when you're starting make sure you have at least four popular perfumes uh four at least you have four or three 
popular scents that people usually use. At least two for men and two for ladies. They are perfumes that are very popular even when you go online you will see them they are one million there is pink chiffon those ones can be okay pink chiffon is for ladies one million can be for both sugar baby is for ladies and then there is a perfume called chelsea there's versace like those popular popular scents that people use if you're starting up make sure you have at least four because i remember when i was starting i had only four and i was selling you guys and i was able to add more scents into my collection you will see my collection is a bit bigger now yeah then when a client comes in if you have only those four cents you can mix uh, at least two cents to create another scent that's another tip that you can use so that you can create another scent but don't mix them before a client has come and they have maybe uh, said they want to mix then you can mix them up so that you can create another scent and that's on also um, one way of creating another different scent I said, um, popular scents for ladies there is polo spot there is one million pink chiffon and sugar baby and for men there is one called soft there's versace there's chelsea and those manly manly scents uh, there's gucci guilty or something like that the next thing is that these bottles you can either choose to have the smaller ones uh, my smaller ones are out of stock so the smaller ones maybe you can be giving them out and encouraging your a customer to come back with it when they want to refill the perfume or you can start selling maybe this one you can sell at 30 bob and this one at 50 bob that's how i usually do it but the smaller ones i kind of give them out so that when my clients come in they usually come with that bottle and it has helped um at least to create that another customer you know a customer that, that doesn't have a bottle in a manisha they don't uh, they don't usually use these things and they are they are starting so at least encourage them by giving them uh, giving out the bottles and telling them to come back with the bottles next time so that at least they see there's that commitment like kuna kitu unawavutia now it's like an after service nini an after service okay after every refill I told you you are going to be refilling the nini with this one, the perfumes with this one. So you just uh, measure the 3 ml if it's for 100 bob. The 3 ml you measure, you put it in the bottle and then there, there is always something left inside there. Even if you have, you feel like you have really depleted everything from that syringe, there is always something left there. And that's what you are going to be using to... Uh, spray your customers and that's also another after service and it's going to at least encourage your customers to come back to your place because at least when I feel like I have come I, I came here I bought something and they even sprayed me after and I didn't have to add more money from that so that's also another after sale service and then as you move forward make sure you are asking your clients what which sense they would want you to bring next because majority of the people that use these perfumes know the perfumes that they want to use and it's very hard for them to change if someone comes in a few people come in and they are requesting for a certain perfume make sure you're investing in that perfume and get it the next time at least invest the money you're getting from the three to get another three or to get another four just like that and within no time you will have uh, enough scents for your customers now where do you get these perfumes i know these what you have been waiting for so where you get these perfumes i feel like i'm going to do a video about everything where i get mine because i know there are people that want the contacts maybe people are far away but i don't have the contacts as that now but you can get these perfumes at du bois du bois du bois road du bois road if you go there you will see uh, people selling in wholesale perfumes in wholesale so just um, go to different vendors i'm gonna go to different suppliers and ask them their prices and choose the one that is at least on the lower side because obviously 
people are different you will get someone uh, selling them from at from um from 10 bob per mail some people sell at 13 bob per mail 12 bob per mail and the one that i usually go to usually sells them to me at 9 bob per mail she's like the cheapest that's why i want to do a video about it next time so make sure you tuned in and subscribe if you are new so that you don't miss out on that post and hit on the post notification bell you will be notified when i upload that video and comment down below if you want to see that video by the way so any questions leave them in the comment section i hope i have been of help i have decided to do this video to just uh, share the small knowledge just share the small knowledge i have of this business and it's a good business that you can incorporate into your other business if you have maybe a cosmetics shop make make sure you have refill perfumes because they usually sell really quickly because you know you are measuring from even 50 bob you can measure from 50 bob 100 bob and people will always come back if your services are you know if your services are good and you're good to your customers they will come back to your place and you can even be able to create um that clientele that you need in order to keep your business running so let me show you where i usually put mine and you will see it's not just perfumes inside there so that's why i'm saying you can incorporate it into your business as we have seen i usually sell clothes but i still have the perfumes and they usually sell by the way yeah so let me show you that and that will be the end of the video make sure you subscribe and see you guys on our next one but let me just show you that that's where i usually put mine let's make a display so that everyone can see it and i have written even on the display like refill perfumes even outside there i have written you can see i have put other things here the socks, the panties, everything in that small display. You don't really need to have this one. You can just get maybe a table if you don't have the display for now. But make sure you have written outside there. <laughs>